In most parts of Australia, we live cheek by jowl. And when something hits that could spread quickly through the community, fear dominates. What's fiction and what's reality? SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, is new to humans, almost certainly having spread directly or indirectly from bats. Most new infections originate in animals. Some, like avian flu, don't spread easily, while others like SARS, swine flu and this new coronavirus do. There's a lot we still don't know about this coronavirus, including being sure about how it spreads. We know that it is probably spread, spread by both the droplet and the airborne route, uh, which, are res which is respiratory transmission. Uh, it is also spread by contact, most likely, which means if someone coughs or sneezes on a surface and you put your hand on that surface and then touch your face, uh, you can get infected. It's hard to get by without touching anything, so people are wondering what's better, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer or soap? Well, hand washing with soap is probably best because it removes the fat layer on your skin which holds the virus. But hand sanitizer is a very good runner-up. Masks are pointless. Your chances of walking past a person with the illness or being on the same train or bus as them are not much higher than winning the lottery. So by wearing masks, you're unnecessarily using a resource that's needed for health workers who will be directly exposed to infected patients and needed for people with the illness to cut the chances of them spreading it. People over, over the age of 60 or 65 and people with underlying health conditions are at greater risk of severe disease. We know who's most susceptible to it, but what are your chances of actually dying from this coronavirus? This is called the case fatality rate. That's the proportion of people who die compared to the number infected. The consensus at the moment is that on average, there's a 2% chance of succumbing. But that's not the whole story. The number of people infected is underreported. That's because people with mild or no symptoms are often missed. No one knows the real number, but it's likely that the true case fatality rate is 1%. But that's still 10 times the case fatality rate of seasonal flu. But your individual risk actually depends on your age and health. If you're young and healthy, it's almost zero. If you're older and have other illnesses, such as heart disease, diabetes and lung disease, the fatality rate is closer to 15%. There are no treatments for COVID-19, though some are being tested. The death rate may come down with advanced hospital intensive care and a vaccine, but that might be a year away. In the meantime, what should you do if you think you have COVID-19? Symptoms can be mild or flu-like, fever, cough, sore throat, fatigue, and shortness of breath. If you think you might have the virus, seek medical attention, but it's important to call ahead to tell your doctor about your symptoms, travel history, or possible contacts. There's also a national helpline on 1800 020 080. And what if you have COVID-19, but don't know you have it? Asymptomatic transmission is the, is the major problem with controlling COVID-19, and this is the major difference with SARS. I think we need to be most concerned about people with mild infections, with mild upper respiratory infections that they view as a common cold that might be transmitting this virus. Until this week, the only cases in Australia were from people who'd caught the virus overseas, then flown here. Now we have cases of person-to-person -person transmission in the community. So is that a game changer? The fact that we've had person-to-person -person transmission is concerning, but it's not the main concern. The main concern is unexplained transmission. When we see a case pop up suddenly in the middle of the community who really has no risk factors and we have no idea how they got it, that's what we're worried about. Knowing all this, are we panicking and overreacting? Or are the measures being taken around the world essential? I think this is a, a very significant public health threat. We haven't seen anything like this before um, for coronavirus. And so it is worth sitting up and taking notice and taking the public health measures that have been taken.